Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is a place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is creating a sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's assume that you've got your video imported in and now you're ready to create a sequence and you're probably scratching your head to say, well, how do I do that? Actually, it's not that difficult. Let's go in and have a look at a few different ways of creating a sequence. So over here on the left-hand side in my project bin, I'll open up my video and here's where I have some video clips. And if I wanted to, I could view this, I'm gonna double click and view this as thumbnails and that this gives me an idea of each one of these videos. Now, I could also have opened this in here too if I wanted to. I just held the control key on Windows, the command key on Mac, and now I'm looking at them in here. Maybe just a little bit easier to look at these videos. And of course, we've got our hover scrub. On the right hand side, you'll see our timeline is empty and there's a note here telling you to drop media in here to create a sequence. Could it be that easy? Absolutely. The easiest way to create a sequence is to drag your media over in here, let go, and you've just created a sequence. Now it names it this clip, so you can see this particular clip here, and this badge tells me this is a sequence and that's a clip. It kind of looks like the exact same thing in a thumbnail, but if we go back over here to this view, you can easily see that. So depending on how you want to work, you might want to work in thumbnails, you might want to work in this list view. It's up to you. Okay, so if I, hit my space bar and play, I've just created a sequence just like that. And you can see the sequence is made up of one, two, three video tracks and one, two, three, four audio tracks and a master track. And these two uh, speakers left and right means that this is a stereo sequence. If you're fine with this, then you've created a sequence all you want. There, there's no reason to make this any more complicated. That's the simplest, easiest way. Uh, let me just delete this sequence and also show you that you can right click and choose create new sequence from clip, let go, and it does the same thing. One last thing, you can actually select all of these and right click and choose new sequence from clip or you can drag and drop them all to the right hand side and create a new sequence from clip. There's one thing that is wrong with this, in, in my opinion, is if we go and look at this video, we have the full clips in both sides. So now we really have to do a lot of work to trim this clip inside here. So if I was ever going to make a sequence from a clip, I'd probably just do it with one, and then I would go and edit and bring in each one of my videos specifically. Now, if you want more control in creating a sequence, maybe you don't want three video tracks, maybe you want a specific frame size, then you need to create it manually. And I'll show you that right down here in this little new item icon. You click in here, you can create a new sequence, or you can go to the file menu, new sequence. It's also control and on Windows, command and on the Mac. Now, you don't have to go this way. If what I just showed you is good enough for you, perfect, do that. But I want to show you in here that you can, for instance, if you're shooting with DSLR, you can open this setting up and there's your DSLR, maybe for 24 uh, frames a second or 2997. And with that selected, you could name the sequence and click OK. There are some specific settings in here for, for things like the editing mode that you can change. When you're creating an automatic sequence from dragging and dropping and creating it from the clip, Premiere Pro is looking at the media and giving its best guess of what that sequence should be. And if you come into the sequence settings, you'll see a choice in here. And that's the choice that Premiere Pro thought was the best. Over in the tracks section, here you can create tracks. The, you, by default, you have three video tracks, and in this particular example, three audio tracks, but you could add as many of those tracks or you can remove as many of those tracks as you want. You can also create a stereo master, 5.1, multi-channel, or mono. 
You can also save this as a preset. So if you always want one video track, so let me just change that to one video track, two audio tracks, stereo, I can save this as a preset and call it my sequence, whoops, and call it my sequence, give a description if I want, click OK, and you'll see now down at the bottom, there it is. So if I click OK, I've now created a sequence with two audio tracks, a video track, and stereo out. So, a couple of interesting ways to create a sequence. Um, the automatic way, like I said, for most folks is going to be great. The other way, if you're coming from broadcast, you probably want to create a preset of your own. I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button below for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then hop on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial today. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.